Hey everybody, welcome back. Uh, today we've got the this AWA Radiola and um, model number 92 as you can see and it's affectionately known as the Egg Crate and um, made in 1940. They come out in uh, various colours, pink, green, cream, maybe red I think and certainly brown I'm sure. Um, and here's the uh, the chassis right now. So as you can see, doll face, that's in pretty good condition for its age. Uh, speaker needs a little bit of work, but uh, nothing nothing too serious there. And let's just turn it around. And so what have we got? A uh, four valve setup. Uh, mixer, I think it's probably 6J8. Uh, second valve, don't know. Looks like a 6V6 there. And undoubtedly a 5 by 3 in the back and let's have a look underneath as you see you've probably seen where's the transformer haha <laughs> and they've tucked it inside the chassis so within that rat's nest there um, no power wires to it uh, but I can see some solder on the um, on the little terminals there so uh, hmm other than that look it's all untouched really really nice and it's not too hard to work in there let's um let's check that uh, power transformer um, just looking at it quickly um, okay here's our primary side and our secondary got here I've got three wires um, two maroon and a black. I'd be guessing they'd be HT. Um, and the black one should be the center tape. We can determine that. Um, but I'm looking. It's five by three. I expect to see two wires for that, and then another two wires for the six point three volts. Um, I can only see one other wire coming out of it. Dear me, dear me. Anyway, we'll work that out. First off, let's try and determine what the um, what these terminals are. So, just look. We'll just look up to the first two. See if we get some sort of resistance reading. What do we got there? Twenty nine point nine ohms, thirty ohms. So straight off, I'd say the that black plug there is that's on the common and that would be well, maybe 220 volts so this one should be say 240 and that's dead no nah, hold on just, just give that a bit of a scrape make doubly sure nope hmm hmm all right I'm gonna go um, check out the schematic and I'll be back in the tick all right well here's what the schematic showed me so as you can see um well uh, three wires blue white and green we don't have those but common and the first tap gives us 200 to 230 volts and the last one gives us 230 to 260 so I believe that um, that 29 or 30 ohms is between the first two there common to 200 230 and 230 to 260 is the winding I want or need and I don't have it but we can still test it and um, I'm gonna hook up some power to it and have to use those two terminals and uh, we'll see what we're getting and uh, the other thing is um, because I'm, I'm not seeing again enough wire wiring to come out I don't see five I should have four extra wires coming out of there two for five volt one two for six point three I'm not seeing them so I've suspicion we may not have a five by three in there at this point easy enough to determine so uh, I'll just get some power hooked up to it 
Okay, so I've just um, used some jumper leads to um, put a bit of power in there. I don't intend going full voltage on this thing, but um, I'll just bring the camera around and here's our 6v6 and above it is the, uh, well, what I think to be the 5y3, but I'm looking at 6v6 and looking at pin 2, which is the heater, and that is joined directly to pin number 2 on the rectifier and that's six, that's got to be 6.3 volts so that can't be a 5x3 and also just quickly 1, 2, 3 let me see where are we? 1, 2, 3, 4 pin 4 and 6 on the 5x3 should be the uh, plates and pin 4 has absolutely no connection to it whatsoever so, okay, not a 5x3. Schematic says 5x3. And I don't know. That's got to be uh, 6x. Uh, can't quite read it, but uh, it's got to be a 6x5. I would say it doesn't look like a 6x5. Hmm. But I'm just going to. Uh, Go to my book and check it out. I'll be back in a tick when I've worked it out. So there's a, a pin out for 6x5, and as you can see, the plates are on pins 3 and 5. And I've had a look, and <laughs> there's definitely two wires going to pins 3 and 5. So we can just do a bit of a voltage check, see that we're getting HV, and where's 5? Always difficult to get to. Bloody shit in the way. Here we go. Gotcha. Do a pardon me. Alright. Two tests in one. See if our transformer's working. And let's go to AC current first, eh? That should help. Well, that's not a lot of voltage. Hmm. Let me check my connections. Connections are fine, just that these damn plugs, cheap plugs, always don't always sit in properly. So now we'll try it. Yeah, HD. Alright, and 6.3 will be there. Pin 2 and the black lead. Pardon me. Black lead just to the chassis somewhere. It should be uh, something a bit better than that. Gotcha. All right. Let's see if um, we're getting some uh, rectification happening. So just go to the filter cap there, and they're just straightforward cans. The body is earth. So black lead onto the uh, chassis. And we're on DC volts. Let's give it some power and see if the valve is working. Take it up slow. That's 100 volts. It's a bit more to kick in, I would expect. Come on. It's 140. Here we go. 150. And now oh, I've got a short. Current limit is lighting up. I'm at 160 volts, and so far we've got 4 volts of, 5 volts of DC. That's certainly not enough. And I'll just uh, show you the current limiter. There it is there, glowing nicely. We'll uh, turn the power off. Okay. Well, I think first order of business is to get rid of that transformer and swap it out. I'll search and uh, see if I've got one that size and that profile. Alright, back when I find one, if I find one. Well, I found one. 
lucky me. Um, and it appears to be exactly the same size and certainly the same profile. So um, it's what we need. I know, I don't really remember it, but uh, no, that's Sair Power and HT, the uh, green and white, and red is our center tap, as it specifies there. So uh, I know this works. Um, all the um, all of my transformers, I've checked them all out, and um, the ones that didn't work, well, they just went in the bin. So, and uh, yeah, yellow, yellow wire's been 6.3. All right, um, I'm going to uh, get that out, and hopefully it's not going to be too difficult, and um, wire this one in. So, I'll get that out, and I'll come back. I'll manage to uh, get it out, and um, I'm looking for that 6.3, and... Well, there's only one wire attached to it after I've taken off the uh, HTs and the um, center tap, which are just down there. So that's got to be 6.3. And this old thing, yep, can go into the bin. It's gone. All right. bit dirty, we'll clean that up and I will check this out. I'm wondering how um, they completed the circuit with only the one wire for 6.3. So must be working somehow. Um, Alright, I'll check that out. I'll clean that up and come back. So I thought before um, installing it, let's just jump her right in and um, give it a test. So um, Connect up the uh, 6.3 and that one there. Get on. We've got the other 6.3 which will go to the chassis. Can't see what I'm doing. Here we go. And somewhere looks like it's going to get some earth. Good. What have we got? High voltage, which will be, let me see, let me see, green and white, I get a black wire, to there, and the green wire, to the other HT line, and that leaves the center tap. to a little red wire. All right, so where are we, where are we? And I want to look at, I want to look at voltage. Um, looking for the, uh, pardon me, just looking for a uh, electrolytic. There it is there. All right, we'll monitor some DC voltage. And all things being equal, I hope this works. Alright, let's give it some power. That's 100 volts. No shorts. Kicking in. That um, short has disappeared, so it appears to have been inside the transformer. I'm at 200 volts. And really not getting enough um, DC voltage there. 45 volts. It's absolutely rubbish. No doubt. No doubt it's the... Uh, the electrolytics, I would guess, at this at this stage, anyway. Um, all right, that seems to be good. I'm going to, I'm just going to install the um, new transformer, and um, we'll take it from there. Well, the uh, transformer's in, and it wasn't hard at all. A bit fiddly, getting those uh, nuts on, 
but um, got there in the end and it's all wired up center tap high tension and uh, 6.3 goes in one of them goes to the existing line the other one I've uh, managed to earth it and I had to change a uh, 25 microfarad uh, capacitor there and that's attached to the um, volume pot which I think is a rheostat and it goes to earth and uh, it was mentioned in the schematic although it's also said it's not shown in the schematic but that's where you put it okay um, let's give it some power tests and um, we'll look at HT first so pins what was it three and five See? Yep. Cool. Alright. Bit of power. Yep. That's looking good. And 6.3. So black to chassis. And there it is there. That's okay too. Good. I hope anyway. Yeah, it looks all right. Um, let's check the um, the uh, da -da 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 DC voltage, and where's that cathode? And let me find out which filter cap is connected to the cathode directly. It's not that one, so it must be. The other one up here. I think. Can't see it. Give, give us a sec. Found it. Haha. <laughs> it was uh, down the bottom. So there it is there. Okay. So just go um, straight off the cathode. It's easy to get to. Alright, let's give it some power. Getting there, give it a um, hundred volts. Okay, maybe a bit more. Here we go. I'll take it up to um, 170. Take it up to 200. No shorts, that's great. Uh, but the voltage ain't enough. Oh, you can't see it. Sorry, there it is there. My apologies. So we've got, um, I'm at 200 volts of mains power. And we've got 79, 80 volts of DC. Okay, one of those again. Here we go. All right. Change those filter caps. But before we do, uh, let's test the speaker. I haven't done that. And I'll just figure out where the hell are those wires uh, probably a cathode and the plate as there's the cathode there which I've just attached and the plate is pin three one two three right let's see if we get the sound certainly do very faint Yep, but that's good. So, speaker works. And did I test the field core? Can't remember, but we'll do that anyway. So, should be bridging the um, both positives of the filter cap. And there it is there, almost a thousand ohms. Spot on. All the electrodes have been changed, so main one there, or the first one in, in the series, and uh, second one up there, all glued in tightly. And I've set up my um, clip so we can monitor the DC, and let's get some power. And uh, hopefully it'll come to life. Here we go. And take a slow. Uh, 
that's about 120 volts. Wait for it to kick in. Anyway, we've got something. Bring it up to 180. Bring up 200 volts now. That's great. So yeah, the uh, the old filter caps had had it. The globe's working too. How about that? But no sound. I've got the antenna attached. Oh, there it comes. Wow! It works. Well, got something. <laughs> Super! <laughs> I can't believe it. All that effort, and uh, I'm, I'm so glad it worked. I really am. Um, very pleased, very pleased. Good on it. Had to turn the uh, volume pot pretty much all the way up, but uh, well, um, maybe dud resistor. I saw one attached to it there. No, a bit dark. Um, I can't read the value just off the top of my head, but um, I'll check that out. Anyway, I'm going to uh, fix that speaker up and uh, glue it in my own usual manner. And um, then I'm going to change those waxies and uh, we'll, I'll just come back at intervals. Well, I've changed out a, a few caps around here. Um, four of them have been done so far. I'm just warming the radio up now. We'll have a listen to it. Let's see if the tongue works. It certainly does. Okay. All right. Um, we'll make it sound better, I'm sure. Um, there's what, let me see, one, two, three, four more caps to be replaced, and then I'll um, be looking at those uh, resistors, and I, I did notice, uh, I can't remember which one, there's a 500k, measures out to about 800, so uh, that's definitely got to go. Anyway, this is progressing very, very well, and I'll be back, uh, I'll change those, those caps, and we'll come back and have another listen to it. Well, all the caps have been done, and uh, I did change Change one resistor uh, that was at um, 500k that was reading at 800. Thought, why not? So I'm warming up the set as I speak, and let's have a listen to it. Come on. I know that Here it is. That changes person by person. You know, everybody is different, and some people are more sensitive Ooh. than others. But you just need to remember that you are completely normal. Oh, that's awful. And nobody can change that. And at some point, you will get to that, you know, there's that light at the end of the tunnel, and you do need to keep that. Oh, that's awful. Turn the volume right up, and uh, it's all distorted. We are who we are, and how we become who we become. Okay, um, oh, I don't think it's the valve. It the uh, 6v6. You're the most deserving winner of RuPaul's Drag Race, and I've watched the I think whole it's the speaker, world. actually. I'm going to um, get another speaker. Um, I'll just jump her in in um, parallel, and um, we'll, we'll have a listen to what it sounds like. Yeah, I'll just giggle. I'll get go and get one. <laughs> okay, I've got my little speaker, and it's got a output transformer on it, and so the red wire has gone to the um, cathode of the rectifier, and the blue wire to the plate. I'll just wait for the. Um... All right. Let's turn the volume up. Yep, it's not distorting as bad as that thing there. Sure, it's some um, clipping. Turn it up too loud.
that's 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 ready. That's ready. All right, I'm going to have to change that speaker, uh, and I'm going to have to find a place to mount the fuel coil as well. Oh boy, what a job! Not much room on the chassis. All right, I'm going to start pulling that speaker out and um, get a new one in. I've got the speaker out, and I don't think I'm going to have to replace it. I just noticed the the cone has lifted off the uh, housing. So I've had this once before, and um, from memory, it was yeah, pretty crappy sound. So um, I'm going to glue that back in, uh, let it set, and uh, we'll. I'll just jump it back in and we'll have a listen to it. Oh, hope, hopefully yeah, this works. Good. Well, the glue dried on the uh, speaker, finally, and uh, it's pretty secure. So I've just jumped it up, uh, fiddle coil and uh, the uh, voltage going into the output transformer. Let's turn it on and see if it makes a difference. Have I been successful? Here we go. And we're waiting. Here it comes. Time, lots of time spent with family and friends, and you may have spent a longer time than usual nice. with a loved one who has dementia. Acknowledging it's tough, there's a lot of grief around uh. the diagnosis. How have you moved towards acceptance and potentially reframed your relationship with your loved one? For you, one three hundred. Come on, where's the other stations? Zero four three seven 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 four seven seven four. Madeleine okay. Barnett is a journalist, That's good. presenter of Human Cogs podcast. She's the daughter of a mother who was diagnosed with yep. dementia five years All ago. Good, good morning, good. Madeleine. Good morning. All right, I'm now going to reinstall this back onto the chassis and, uh, yeah, then get stuck into the um, resistors. Uh, but until then, check out this old lad. A tissue! Ah, Scotty! Tissue! Ah, Scotty! Every second, every day, someone needs a Scotties. A uh, 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 tissue! Ah, uh, 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 a Scotty! Don't say a tissue, say a Scotty. A tissue. Oh, I hope you found that out amusing. A tissue, a Scotties. Ah, uh, jeez, I actually remember that. Um, radio's all finished. And, um, changed, um... Those, uh, whatever resistors needed to be changed, not that many actually, and I'll uh, just switch it on and, oh yeah, the, the speaker is finally back in its place, and that took a while to do, uh, just difficult. And that's what we're talking about here today, I'm loving all your texts in about your amateur sporting victories, you know? While serving the Egyptian noble called Potiphar, cool. the, the, what a happy household is, there must be hundreds of children, and the only real child in our house. It all works, and time control works too. Um, and then, although my mother was quiet when she did speak, she spoke in a very expostulatory manner. Maybe I had a bit of station, but anyway, anyway. Um, so that's it. This, is, this was a good one. Um, getting it to work was, wasn't really a problem. Change some filter caps and off it goes. And um, the uh, power transformer, a real easy one to do. Real easy one. So, there it is, and rock solid, nice. Anyway, thank you for watching, hope you get, get a little bit out of this, uh, for the newbies out there, and, um, <laughs> and some of you <laughs> find it entertaining. Anyway, that's great, and I thank you so much for that. And uh, I will catch you all again very soon, so take care everybody, have fun, and be safe. Bye.